previous rent studio office and residential buildings in Gateway Station, a San Jose mixed-use village next to a light rail stop near the corner of Southwest Expressway and South Bascom Avenue, and a visualization. A transit village planned for San Jose, a few train stops from a huge development that Google has proposed in the city's downtown, is growing in potential size by expanding the number of housing, units and office spaces in the project. WRNS Studio A Residential Complex in Gateway Station, a mixed-use transit village planned in San Jose next to a light rail stop near the corner of Southwest Expressway and South Bascom Avenue, in a visualization. A transit village planned for San Jose, a few train stops from a huge development that Google has proposed in the city's downtown, is growing in potential size by expanding the number of housing, units and office spaces in the project. Sound the gallery will resume in seconds where in studio an office building in San Jose's proposed gateway station, a mixed-use village planned near the corner of Southwest Expressway and South Bascom Avenue and next to a rail stop, and a visualization. A transit village planned for San Jose, a few train stops from a huge development that Google has proposed in the city's downtown, is growing in potential size by expanding the number of housing, units and office spaces in the project. WRNS Studio Housing Structures that would be part of Gateway Station, a mixed-use village planned in San Jose next to a light rail stop near the corner of Southwest Expressway and South Bascom Avenue, in a visualization. A transit village planned for San Jose, a few train stops from a huge development that Google has proposed in the city's downtown, is growing in potential size by expanding the number of housing, units and office spaces in the project. WRNS Studio and Office Building proposed as part of the Gateway Station Transit Village in San Jose at the corner of Southwest Expressway and South Bascom Avenue, in a visualization. A transit village planned for San Jose, a few train stops from a huge development that Google has proposed in the city's downtown, is growing in potential size by expanding the number of housing, units and office spaces in the project. WRNS Studio Office and Residential Buildings in Gateway Station, a San Jose mixed-use village next to a light rail stop near the corner of Southwest Expressway and South Bascom Avenue, and a visualization. Transit village planned for San Jose, a few train stops from a huge development that Google has proposed in the city's downtown, is growing in potential size by expanding the number of housing, units and office spaces in the project. Next show caption Rin Studio one of five office and residential buildings in Gateway Station, a San Jose mixed-use village next to a light rail stop near the corner of Southwest Expressway and South Bascom Avenue, in a visualization. A transit village planned for San Jose, a few train stops from a huge development that Google has proposed in the city's downtown, is growing in potential size by expanding the number of housing, units and office spaces in the project. Expand San Jose, a transit village planned for San Jose, a few train stops from a huge development that Google has proposed in the city's downtown, is growing in potential size by expanding the number of housing, units and office spaces slated for the project. The South Bascom Gateway Station mixed-use development, according to an updated proposal now on file with San Jose City Planners, would be built on a triangle-shaped plot of land totaling 6.4 acres at the corner of Southwest Expressway and South Bascom Avenue. The site is the location of a shop-worn retail property known as Dick Center, where Azorba the Greek restaurant had operation. Bay West Development is developing the Gateway Station project. Ad Choice Advertising and Red Invented by Teeds, San Jose is finally building up and not out, said Bob Stedler, Principal Executive of Silicon Valley Synergy, a land use and planning consultancy, referring to the city's current push under the leadership of Mayor Sam Lagardo to build more offices and residences and dense developments near transit stops, rather than to sprawl in a Los Angeles-style pattern. The latest version of the proposed transit village envisions 590 residential units and nearly 214,000 square feet of offices. 
the housing would consist of 125 studios, 353 one-bedroom units and 112 two-bedroom units, the planning documents stated. A prior iteration of the anticipated development had proposed 447 residences and 200,000 square feet of offices. Gateway Station is a great mixed-use transit-oriented project, Stedler said. It's a can't-miss development with the amenities of the Willow Glen area and access to light rail. Bascom Station owner, an affiliate of Bay West Development, paid $37.25 million on June 5 for the property, which at present consists primarily of a strip mall and considerable surface parking. The development would rise next to the South Bascom light rail stop. That station is just a few stops south of the Duraden Transit Station that itself is a hub for light trail, Ace Train, Caltrain, Capital Corridor and Amtrak stops and in the future would be the site of a BART station. Next to the Duraden Station, Google plans a transit-oriented community of offices, residences, shops, restaurants, open spaces, along with a cultural and eco-walk, in a development where 15,000 to 20,000 of the Tech Titans employees could work. Technology giants such as Apple, Facebook, Adobe Systems and Amazon expanding in huge ways in Silicon Valley, San Jose has led the charge for creation of urban villages that would blend offices, housing and retail with immediate access to transit stops. Such developments could help combat worsening traffic woes in the Bay Area. That close access is the case with the Gateway Station development. Open spaces in the project would physically connect the site to the South Bascom station platform, according to the proposal submitted to San Jose officials. The proposal calls for eight levels of residences and ten levels of offices, the city planning documents show. Start your day with the news you need from the Bay Area and beyond. Sign up for our morning report weekday newsletter. For us, it's critical to have a rail stop. Pete Barrett's Hoff, a partner with Bay West Development, said earlier this year in discussing the company's development proposal at Southwest and South Bascom. Sponsored content Do you know how to leverage connected TV? By adults spend more than 10 hours and 45 minutes consuming media every day, with much of that screen time taking place on computers, mobile devices. You might also like 106 Get an Audi Deliver to Your Doorstep with Audi On. Audi furniture that welcomes your peace of mind. Welcome to IKEA.com 1 o'clock how Toshiba is shaping a connected world Toshiba APAC dining alone or with loved ones, enjoy discount at HSBC former city harvest. Church leaders Serena Wee and John, Straits Times Japanese home builders move into Australia as Nikkei Asian Review 3 Alarm Fire Burns Pair of South San Jose Homes Mercury News.com When Google Was Young, Oral History from New Book Has MercuryNews.com Huawei and Santa Clara Infiltrated Summit at Facebook, MercuryNews.com Recommended by